for um, doing makeovers on women on telly for about 20 years. And then um, I kind of didn't start that way. I actually started working in the city trading commodities, Ugh. which I don't think you knew. But I always wanted to make over friends. So when I was about six, I was at boarding school and I would always be the one who'd make over my friends. I lived abroad, they all lived in England. And I'll bring them Benetton, which was really, oh, oh. it was amazing then. And, and different things. I was things. Chelsea girl, not Benetton. I was covered there. in terrible amount of fake tan. So you were gonna say I was covered in sequins. I was gonna oh, go, yeah, as always. I was born in sequins, <laughs> darling. And, um, and I grew up and I then, <laughs> at age about 29, I thought, Jesus, I've tried to do one thing all my life I hate it, which is to be in finance. What do I love doing? I love making over women. Mm -hmm. And I got a very lucky break for um, a newspaper called Daily Telegraph, and I started a column there with my erstwhile partner, Susanna Constantine, and we did this for a few years, and then we got picked up with TV, and we did a show called What Not To Wear, which we did for about five years, which was then actually sold to the States, and they asked us to go and do it, but we were having babies, so we didn't, so it was Same done kids. in America. Kids, always and get in the way. And we did a few shows in the States. We did a show at TLC. How did it go down um, with the we did... Americans? Could they take it? Because if you haven't seen the show, I mean, I'm sure there's YouTube links below. I'll put them in. You you go for it in the way that you would expect your best mate to go for it. That was the joy of it. So yes. you would literally go, well, this is fucking here. So who bought you this? Like, But it was like, but the show had evolved. So when yeah. we went to America, we did about two years doing Oprah. So we did Oprah about six or seven times. And <gasps> so we did. I like, didn't know that. Yeah, we did. Oprah's my queen. Oh, we did. We and have to have that conversation. I'm going to cry. Very quickly no, I might actually cry, Judy. So when you do Oprah the first time <laughs> and you're a guest and you're a little peon from England, what mm -hmm. happens is you sit in the set yeah. and she arrives through the yes, audience. Okay, that's course. the queen is arriving. Yes. She arrives and you're these two little peons. Yeah. And, um, and she'd always put Susanna next to her and sit there. And... And then in the third show, because we then, it it's transmits to about 20 to 28 million people. Yeah, yeah. And one show we did with her, which was a show just based on our book, which made it number one in the States for herself. Oh, God, how did I not know that? Um, she, um, it, we had 28 million people watching. So when we had very high viewing figures, the next time we went on. Oh, you came we on. We came on! And it was like, oh, oh my God. You get a car, you get a car. And I'll tell you a little thing about Oprah because she's. Let's tell, tell me everything. Forget so, this. Tell me so about Oprah. So there's a very big. Um, there was a, a huge studio where it was made, mm. and there Which was this kind it? of big um, hallway where you had all the donuts and stuff in the morning. And Oprah would always come through that hallway, and you'd never know because she had baseball cap on, mm. no no wig on yet, mm. and you just like fly by night. She's gone. Okay. Funnily enough, my second to darkest shade I've named Oprah. <sighs> I have. I have, and the thing is, her skin has got lighter since then. Yeah. But you know, it's it's sort of anyway. It, that's my homage because we did, as a result of doing that show, get a little bit of knowledge in America, and then ABC did a pilot with us, which they wanted to do Ladette to Lady, and they kind of had um. ten girls from South um, South Central LA, really um. tough ghetto girls, yeah. coming in and being made a lady, and it was like such so incongruous the show, oh, and no. I really felt. An yeah. awful word in itself, inauthentic, but I did. I felt it wasn't right, mm, so we mm. dumped that. And then they came back next year, TLC, and they said, let's do a show. So we did a show called Making Over America, Trini Stern and Making Over America. And the show only had one season. Right. But what I loved about the show is we, get, we got to do things. So we went to Fort Bragg, and we became army cadets, and we made over a woman in the army. So we spent a week in the U.S. Army. And then wow. we went to this professional cheerleader girl and we, we became cheerleader coaches. And then we went to Orlando and we became um, dolphin instructors because we were making over a dolphin God. woman. So it was an amazing way to see America. Yeah. And I loved it. And that's probably the last big show we did. And then we did shows around Europe because we were not flown over the month at all in England by that stage. Right. And then we did about 22 series in three years. So nine months wow. every single day filming. Really tough. Both had kids by that stage. Oh, Came back here and I thought, actually, I really want to do this thing I've wanted to do for 10 years, which is to do a brand by myself in makeup. So yeah. then this was born. Very long good way to get there. Wow. No, I'll pay. Now, now we're just going <laughs> to after this. I'll be like, tell me everything about Oprah. Oh, well, I will. I'll let it be later. So, okay. No, she had the other way around, sorry. It was a lot of. Mm. Oh, Scott. Susanna, Susanna come and sit next to me. I've got to say, though, when we went to your little shindig at your house yeah. and Susanna came in, I took Jim, yeah. and uh, Jim and I stood there, and there was people going around, and I'm going to him, oh, that's so and so, and that's so and so, and that's so and so. And then Susanna walked past, and he went, that's that Susanna bird. <laughs> I'm like, and he went, you've got their book. And, I, and then it was almost like he then clicked, oh, it's Trini and Susanna. I was like, <laughs> some of it goes in. So Trini London is how old now? 
Trini London is, I mean, it's a, it, it's a little baby that was overcooked because it came out a month late and it's been going for a month and a week. <gasps> it's such a little baby. Yeah, but how's it going? It couldn't be more exciting because yeah. you don't know when you launch a brand which is just online, it's very different from launching in stores where you yeah. go in the store and you'll see how people are buying it and you see people testing it. And I really wanted to do something just for online, which is in itself tricky. I mean, we've got Glossier out there, but that's kind of 18 to 25 year old woman who's going yeah, to buy yeah. and buy and buy and then find the next brand, buy and buy yeah, and buy. Yeah. And I wanted to create a bit of software. So you buy, so you want your stack and mm -hmm. your stack is every little pot, which is a full size pot and it has all your products in it and you stack them up like that. So my daily stack has in it my BFF cream, which I'll tell you about later, foundation, a lip to cheek product, a lip glow, an eye, and a mattifier. And that I take around with me, and that's my makeup bag. Yeah, literally, in one yeah. pile. Looks like that. Now I showed this briefly at the end of my recent bad packaging video as a good example oh, no, of you. good packaging. And it actually came to me at the end because when I was filming it, I had my stack. Yeah right on the edge of the desk where I leave my makeup and when I'm filming I leave my mirror and my makeup so I can go oh god this is hideous touch that up and I thought and as I was thinking I was like you know if they'd have listened to someone like Trini and I was talking I was like well there's my stack and I was like actually here's some good packaging oh, so nice. okay so the range has how many SKUs? the range has 58 SKUs okay and you have covered all colour bases all colour bases yes things are still coming in so mm. we've got I would say we're 95% there in the basis of the range. And the range starts off with a cream you put on first, which is BFF. So this is the BFF here. Yep. And you would be in it medium. Beautiful. So I wanted something. I don't always wear foundation. Yeah. And there were years when I went wore a ton of foundation because I have really bad acne. Yeah. But I think the older you get, it's not that less is more, but it's that better ingredients are more important so they don't like they're sitting on your face. Yeah. So it was like starting with something that would give me that kind of freshness. Because I wake up, and more often than not, I've got quite a lot of makeup on the moment, I just feel, I look in the mirror, I feel tired. <sighs> so any age can feel that. Your daughter can wake up. She bounces and, and out she of bed and, and her face is like a trampoline. Mm -hmm. Right, fine, mm -hmm. bing -o, bing -o. She's like, oh, I'm really tired. And I'm like, you literally look like a supermodel. Get out of my face. Okay, yeah. okay I, I won't go there. But anyone <laughs> can get the benefit of this, all right? But you put it on and... Mm -hmm. I wanted something that was SPF 30. I remember the smell of this is good. just insane. That had a bit of glow in just it. Just like, oh, let me just do my usual yeah. demoing. It's just like, just just fixes imperfections. I'm going to be super close to you guys now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to my people, okay. But uh, also, oh God. The smell is good. Oh, the smell. And you know what else weird? Somebody, somebody, people, what I kind of love about the range is that people call up and say, oh, I use this in this place. And I'm thinking, I love that because it's all cream based and it was important it was yeah. cream based. You can put everything nearly everywhere. Okay, so stop there. Why cream based? Because I Because we're not in a weird way. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you why. I've always found powders tricky. Mm -hmm. I always drop stuff everywhere. I always find if it's densely powdered pigment, I'll always put it on, I can't move it. Yeah, you're like And I want to add on to my makeup through the day and not then be like a clown by five o'clock. Yeah. You know, I don't want to have to take it all off again. Yeah. So also when I travel, I love traveling with everything cream base and powders require brushes. Yes. And I wanted to use fingers. And that's also so much more to carry. So much more to carry. Ava, can you close up my makeup bag and pass it to me please with all the brushes in yes. so we can let, have a look let, at let's what, look at the, this um, is what's in compared. the office. Yes. Be right back. Very nice makeup bag, but I do want to, yes, it's a very good thought. Also, I okay. might put the blind up in a minute because oh, it's getting shiny. Well, no, we're getting mm -hmm. like darker here and it's yeah. super bright out. Watch this. Okay. Watch my camera have a heart attack. Mm. Oh, your camera will have a heart attack. That's very bright. Is that too bright for us or not? Or do we like, oh, do we quite like that? Bye. Blinded by the lights. lights. See, we sang that. La, 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 and no la, one in the office, la, 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 no la, la, la. one in the office got what we were doing. And the last time I had both Hannah and Lisa here, Lisa yeah. from Benefit, Hannah from Bobby Brown, when they when they came on and my son, when he stands behind the camera, he went, yep, yeah, rolling. And we all went, rolling, 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 rolling. Silence. Rolling, rolling. The rest of the office. <laughs> no one. I went, right. See? Right. Okay. Here is your traditional makeup bag. Can I now. say a very nice bag? Target, obviously. I mean, fab. What a fab bag, but I'll put my jewellery in there. I'll oh put yeah, totally. The, so stuff in there. the why okay. I got this is because yeah. I travel a lot and yeah. it does this. It's magnetised. So oh, you stand in like that. Now we won't look at my disgusting brushes. Yeah. Well, we will. We'll have well, to. How but many brushes? Jesus, how many brushes do you have? Five, six, five. So there's, yeah, there's yeah. like four heady bronzer, yeah. powder, blusher, 
clean powder because these two need cleaning, which we forgot to do, Lou. Okay. But yeah, and then like bulky bits, like you say, but I found when I started playing with yours, it's so much quicker. Yeah, it is so It's much so much easier because the other thing is, when you are not 18 to 24 and the eyesight's gone a bit, I know. you're like, oh God, that's a bit cat candid. Mm -hmm. And it's like, mm -hmm. and you've got like, oh, and you're trying to blend it. Whereas with this, you can go, oh, blend that through and I'll put more on. I know, I agree with you. Ah, so, so, so you can go that to that, lift it up. Yeah, right, You wait. could literally. I could kill someone with go this. Go from that to that. So okay. tell me, you're, so you do your BFF, you put so your you base do your on, BFF, then you put what? Your base on. So I'm going to say two things, mm -hmm. which is, if you've got really oily skin, what I discovered the other day, which I love, is you start with your foundation and you put the BFF on top. Oh, really? And actually, somebody who had oily skin on Trini London said this way around, I did it, and it was fantastic on her. So if your skin is dry, do it this way around, do the BFF first. And then Give the yourself foundation. a bit of a glow. So I've got that little glow on my hand, and then I'll go and put on my foundation. How I'm many foundation pots do you get when you order? Do you get one pot of foundation? Or you, do get you get one pot. So I'm going to show you. If I take, I'm rubbing my hand like that, that will do my face. Okay. My face. But it seriously would do your face. So I can take that bit there. Where's that mirror? Where's okay, the mirror? I, need a mirror? I don't need a mirror. And then I'll go around my nose. This is where I most use foundation. I've already got some on, but I'm just going to show you. There we go. Because this foundation, <laughs> you've got to blend it and blend it, and it should become imperceptible to your skin. Watch who you're reflecting there, look. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't want to see. It's just like being in ITV studios in my office, isn't I know, it? It's just, it's even better. The lighting is better. The people by the camera are prettier. It's all <laughs> super. It's all super. Thank you, Trini. Um, so, so foundation should, if it works well and the colour works well, and you go on and you do your match to me, which is this little system. Okay, we wait. The, we didn't even yeah. talk about that. That's the most genius part. So okay. you might be thinking, okay, so I want to shop online. The reason traditionally makeup brands are hard to shop for online is because you can't, cannot choose your colour. So tell us yes. about your match to me system. Okay, so I kind of found, I go to John Lewis and I go into Longcom or I go into a counter and I just think, oh, too many to choose from. Mm. Or I would think, I don't know if that person behind the counter knows how to do my makeup or I go outside and it'd be orange. So yeah. there are all those Oxidizes. things. So I kind of thought, okay, how can I do something? So I had probably Charlotte Rivera, who's done my makeup for 20 years mm. and has worked a lot on the brand. She and I made over about 200 women in my office and then when we moved up and the company grew in Shoreditch, we had the tech company building and she had hundreds of women come through. And so every time a woman came through and we made her up in the colours, we'd stick her on the wall and created this chart. So we looked at their skin, hair and eye. Because yeah. all those shows I did yeah. in Europe where whatever country you're in, the issues are the same. I'd have to re-educate a makeup team and say, don't just shove a red lip on that woman. Yeah. And what's her skin, hair and eye combination yeah. and see what suits her. So. All of that information, inside Charlotte's head, inside my head, went in to make this kind of little bit of technology. Yeah. So you put in your skin, hair and eye, and when you put in your skin, skin is a tricky bloody thing to describe because yeah. you might look in the mirror and think I look really pale, and I'll look at you and think you're a sort of olive, you're an olive a, a mid olive even, not even a pale so olive. So now I describe myself as a pallid olive. A pallid, a pallid. We do have pale olive, but you're darker than a pale olive. In our yeah. book, you're olive, okay? Yeah. Um, so how, you know, a lot of people wear fake tan, yep. but have underneath it a peaches and cream skin. We have a category called light tan. We say in the copy, and the woman speaks about her skin, because mm. that was really important doing videos, mm. is, you know, I'd normally be able to like uh, peach and cream, but I love fake tan. Yeah. So sometimes get that's me. Yeah. Um, and all the women who are on the site are our Facebook and Instagram followers. Yeah. So there's Trini, Trini Tribe. So Trini Tribe. Trini Tribe. And they're real women, which I hate the bloody word, and Charlotte hates that word even more, but they're women who are not models. But you know what, I think though, if, if the words real women, if the, if the term real women is reclaimed by real women yes. and taken away from the media bullshit, yeah. then it's completely appropriate. Yes, and when we you speak know? about it colloquially, if we, we, are we speaking, know what we mean. If we are speaking about ourselves as we are real women in that, you know, the whole thing I did online about ageism and that's not me and looking at Dior hiring Cara yeah. Delevingne, who's beautiful, but 24, yeah. to push a cream that's for a 30 plus. Yeah, and you're just like, screw you, really? what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, why? Really? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. I just think we are real women and I think that women use that term meaning that we mean every single person we know. Yes. We all do. of our friends, yes. all of our family, anyone who isn't basically born with the genes of a supermodel. Yes, working in that business and yeah. kind of every day has miraculous things done. So yes. I agree with that. So that kind of is the premise. And then all the products are based on this algorithm. So whenever yep. you go in, it would then just say, okay, Caroline, you suit these products yep. and then you can pick and choose. And then we've just actually launched now these things, Stacks and Gift Stacks. So 
let's say you're an errant husband, any errant husband who happened to watch Caroline's show, or a wife, but you can go on and a man can look clever. Describe your wife. You know, and describe yeah. your wife. And you can describe your wife like, you need to know her eye colour. Yeah, if you don't say, know your wife's please, eye colour, you should really be in trouble. I wouldn't just um, buy your makeup. I'd be yeah. like, maybe yeah. I need to buy her a diamond. Yes, I think that's very true. <laughs> Um, and then you go on and you just then can put in, oh, she has kind of medium skin. So we won't send you the foundation, but it will actually make yeah. you look good and you'll have colours that suit her. Yeah. And we want the men to look good about it. Mm. We do. Okay, yeah. so how many foundation colours? We've got 14. Okay, and there's at least, I can see one, two, three, four. They're pretty split half and half between dark and light to dark. Yeah, they are light to dark. I mean, I say the lightest Bambi is, well, I haven't had anyone who's too light for it. Yeah. Um, and the darkest, I haven't had anyone who's darker than that. Right, okay. And in between, I feel actually on, you know, where we're at now, is that between Angeli and um, Femi, I'm thinking, yeah. shall I do another colour? So, darker ladies, in between yeah. these two... I'm Stop thinking... trying to hitchhike out of my footage, you two. <laughs> Trini's people are either side, literally. So, but, but I have to and have... we'll link to everything below anyway. Because I I have to have more and more women. So every few weeks we do a bit of filming and we film women with yeah. a foundation wheel, which we put on Instagram. So we had a shout out today because everyone looking at it said, "Do you have anyone with really bad skin?" So we can see the foundation. So we then did a shout out to Instagram. So we hopefully have got somebody who come on Thursday. Oh, cool. Who's got really bad skin. And I'd Brave. Like more, I just want more and more women. So we truly reflect, reflect. Reflect. Reflect the brand we want to be. Amazing. You know? So, okay, okay so right, foundations. So done the foundation. Now your face, contouring your face. Yeah. I'm gonna do this with you. You're gonna do it with me. Okay, right. but I hate contour, but do it. Okay, but this is that weird thing. That I know, weird thing. I know, so let's show my people, please. Okay, yes, so look. Sorry. This is the colour contour Trini's going to put on me. It's called Kate. When she first showed it to me, I was like, um, I'm not grey. Okay. Sorry. You've Watch. got a tiny bit on now. No. Okay, That's my face. I haven't got my glass on. Are you going to be alright with that? I've got my mirror here. I'll fix it. And we have a darker shade too, um, Sophia, which is a really beautiful colour and goes kind of caramel, dark caramel and onwards. So this should give a shadow to your face, but not a bronzer to your face. Yeah. So I've created a little bit of shadow. You bloody have as well. Yeah, do the other side then. Exactly right. God's so, sake. So it is just about taking it from the hairline and going down. And imagine that you're kind of underneath a, sh a sharp light and it's going to give you that. Like we are now. Like Daylight now. and Daylight. And shall I, but on a quite good angle. I'm feeling hot, but I'm feeling yeah. a good angle. Yeah, the heat. If I do myself, I'll just do like that. Mm. And I'll do like that. Marvellous. Okay. okay, so I've done myself right. So I've done and there's that. six shades across it. So that's highlight and contour. There's six highlight, shades. Well, no, High, uh, contour. There's two. Oh, there's okay, that one too, which is a really nice darker shade. It's quite gel-like and mm. it, it goes beautifully. You want to be tanned? I don't dis tanning. I'm not like anti-tan, but what I'm anti is putting it on with a big getting the bronzer brush. and going boom, 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 which is yeah. such. It's a. It's like taking a, a coffee in the morning. Yeah. And it makes women feel immediately better. So. I get it, and I've been there, and I've done it. But I think what I wanted to do is to tell people when you're putting on color. So this is our very pale color, which is yeah. too pale for you. But I'll put so that on. Gen Star. Looks like that. And it's like a gel. So I want to look. I want to look like I've been. And to you start. love doing it without a mirror, don't you? Just yeah. to be flash. Just oh, like I check me out. Okay. Here. So this this is if I've been to the south of France for a week and I got back a week ago. Right. Okay. Nice bit of colour. All right. So if I and peel... that is where you get colour in the middle of the forehead. It's yeah. not you know when you when you go and have your makeup done and they, and you get a bronzer done they always they go do. they kind of go down the nose and under here and I'm yeah. like yeah but no, you're not really you're contouring you're not really they're, bronzing they're using me. Your bronzer to contour. I want to be like I get I catch the sun here yeah. and on the tip of my nose yeah. and right here on the top of my cheeks. Yeah. So if I want to do that I'll do the darker one. So I'll go one two three and then there, yeah. and then I'll just rub it in. And yeah. now I've come back from Ibiza two days ago. Nice. But it's, oh, I wish I was in Ibiza. Oh, it's yeah. freezing. Anyway, okay. Okay, and so then says, highlight. So then highlight is right light. Right light, all right. All right, love. And we have two things. This is where I like brown. We had, we had these women yesterday, and they were all different shades, and we're waiting for a darker shade of highlighter. But this highlighter, the right light, all right, you just put on here, and you just blend in. It's very blendable, and it's not too... Um, kaleidoscopy. Oh yeah, it's it just gives you a shimmery. Little... I'm just going to fix your mascara. Thank there, you very no. much, darling. I know. I'm testing one out, which is obviously not. Working She's testing out. one out. That didn't which pass the test. Which will not be going in our <laughs> book. <laughs> and then the darker shade I don't have yet. So I had this girl who was like a dark caramel skin tone, and then I said, actually, we're basing it on this one. So I then put cool. this on her. 
which is Sun, which is one of our eye shades. Yeah, but it's a great and it was color. so beautiful as a highlighter for her. Oh. So on any skin caramel and darker, you, you, you know the professional way of doing so it. It's so bright. That and it's a beautiful eye shade. I don't think you're going to see anything with this sunshine. I can only apologise, people. When when we're done, I'll try and take some pictures, and okay. I might have to put the blind down again. This winter sun, I said to my lot, when we moved from my old office to here, we went from sort of just no light to being completely blinded or pitch black. Okay. There's no in between unless we pull the blind down, but then we pull the blind down and it's all a bit grim. So okay, so let's keep with this beautiful shimmery gold. Let me but describe it to you. In this overbright, we're shiny. <laughs> so. Instead of powder, mm -hmm. all right, which I think I'm going to take the mattifying balm. I'm going to try it on first. There you go. See, you got it. Like, I'll get out of the way because it's focusing on me. Okay. Look, it's usually focusing oh, on I me. Oh, I see you make a big See, there you go. But it's it's impossible to see because it's literally the colour okay. of my hand. It's gorgeous. Though. It's a kind of translucent colour. It looks pink, but it's translucent. It's on every skin tone. So I take in my nail like that. Mm -hmm. I take that, and then I put it on. Oh shit! I dropped no, it. No, you Sorry. don't. You I know. It. Stop it. I put it in upon my hand like I'm just about to take some snuff. And then... <laughs> Is that something you do on occasion? Yeah, of course. And then I'll go to where I'm shiny. So you see I'm shiny here. And I'll just put it on and it will just mattify me. Subtly. Subtly. Without looking like you've died. No, and without... Which I always yeah. think when people use a mattifier, I'm like... And I, I know it sounds horrible, but I say it that I'll look matte when I'm dead. Yes. I, I like I to like have a, a bit of glow everywhere, but I don't like glow around And I, when I say that, I am not dismissing the needs of people who have a very oily skin. Obviously, you don't want to look too oily, and there's a difference between oily and glow. But I also think there's a difference between a mild glow and completely mattified. Yeah. But do you see now it's just toned it down, yeah. softened it, and then I do it above my lip for lip lines when I'm doing a really strong lip, and I just want to yeah, yeah, yeah. blur, blur. Blur the I lip lines. Blur. Okay, so next is Cheeks. Next, cheeks. cheeks. So let's do, I'm going to give you a bit of Catrin, which is what I gave you before. You're going to do a tiny bit of that on, and I'm going to do Wiggle. So take wiggle. a tiny bit. Where did the names come from? Wiggle is named after my sister. Oh, you Four years older, always a big influence in my life. Sorry, we're looking at the scared again, yeah. of her for a few years. Right. But, and she's quite, a, she's quite a strong character. <laughs> oh, that your sister would be yeah, a strong character. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, so I wanted something that reflected her, and she actually has got beautiful auburny hair, but this is a very good colour for her. And Beautiful. It's an easy soft colour. So we have kind of too cool, too, too warm. And then we can go to lip to cheek. And lip to cheek has got, there's got some really bright mag colours. But then you put them on and all they do is lift you. So I yeah, can do a tiny bit Yeah, they're not at all scary. And it just lifts you. And then I could even do a tiny bit here. And it would just lift. Beautiful. Just lift a little bit like that. So you See, all now go together. Camera, you might have to give them a... <laughs> Watch, suddenly Trini will come back into focus. There Whoa. she is. There I am, look, and I can build it up like that. I can do it. Oh. oh, I like this light. Jesus Christ. Nice. <laughs> See, that oh. light's fine, but okay. when we sit down, we go dark again. So, okay, so we're so, perpetually fighting the battle. Right. Sorry, so put people. it up again. Put it up again. Get it up again. So, I don't want this to be a long drawn out process, but no. Five lips cheek. Very, the whole point is it's versatile, so I'll mix everything with everything. Eyes, I've got here. I've got on today Fortune, so I'm gonna show you. This is, half the colors have a shine to them and half the matte. Yeah. So Fortune, can I try this one? So Fortune Go is there. <laughs> Here's the lens, babe. <laughs> <laughs> there. There you go. Is that in focus? Okay, yeah, if fine. I want to do it on my hand. I'm gonna put some sun on my lid. There. Oh, there. Okay, oh, I, I okay. look like that, yeah. You're just so you know, just so you know, you're not taking this one home. All right. Oh, that's very beautiful on you, darling. Oh, nice bit of gold on my lid. Yeah, it's very nice. And then how many lips? Because talk to me about these colours. Look, I just want to okay. show, because yeah. I, I'm always attracted to colours that you would think make me look, look like a clown, but I blend them in with something and get away with them. So that is, Swaney. that's one of our, that Swaney is red. a kind of warm red. Talis is, which is a lip glow. So oh, it's very, God, just comes I love into that. And then Pookie, who's Pookie named Pookie after? is my niece. Oh. And she's a and mad girl. Demon, look at Demon that. Is and then I know what this one is. That is it. This <laughs> is Lila. That's Lila. Named after That's Trini's Lila. baby girl. Oh, darling. I say baby girl. She is my baby because I'll always be our baby girl. Even that girl lurking there with her legs are endless legs. If you could see um, Ava, she's not yeah, even paying attention. You have to switch it around. You look, look. switch it around. There she is. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to steal a bit of footage from them to drop yes, into this so you sure. can see well, her. Yeah. Um, yes. So easy peasy, and I want women who are not. What do you think? You think? Very good light, Amy. It's great light, it's great light, light darling. It's really great light. Don't worry. Light. Okay. Well, she is looking in the mirror. She's checking. I'm the window frame. She is checking out the telephone. So we, she's she yes. Yeah. And she's done her makeup while she's sitting. I can see my makeup on her face. Oh God, you lie. I just Shh. She takes it from Trini, I love it. I can't say a word to her. Trini walks in and is like, darling, you smell like Victoria's Secret. What is that stink? Yeah, well, She's it's like, just a smell. It's a certain smell because Lila, you know, will live in the knicker department of Victoria's Secrets. Well, it used to what be pink. What is it? It used to be pink what? and she spent hours loitering through it. the knickers. And she said, mommy, these are great. And Obsessed. I'm like, they're way too big for you and they got lace on them down to the crotch. Yes. The first time Jim washed some Victoria's Secret knickers I had bought her. Right, so oh, we do that's washing. Weird, yeah, yeah okay, he came okay. in the front room and that he, and he went, no, this is the best bit, you'll love it. He literally held up his pair of knickers, bearing in mind, David, what size are you, like a six? Something offensive, yeah. tiny, which yeah. in the US is like a two. Held up his pair of knickers like that and he went, oh, love, I've shrunk your knickers. And I looked at him <laughs> and just went, oh, they're not mine, they're, they're booze, we call it booze. They're booze. And he, you could see him internally vomit and he literally went, <laughs> oh! <laughs> and threw them across the living room oh. and has since absolutely refused to wash her nippers and who it's wouldn't? too much for a who dad wouldn't? it's too much for a dad to wash victoria's secret underwear knowing that their teenage daughter yeah. is wearing yeah. it so yeah yeah we can't go there we can't, we, go, we can't go but you've got any detail of that conversation actually because that's like you could take it anywhere and it's like you're going <laughs> why aren't your beautiful light out the window see there's the light gone now this is it what it's like is. look okay, see? we're going back to this england in the winter time people okay right. so what's been the most surprising thing for you in terms of starting your own brand biggest surprise biggest surprise is well the biggest you kind of have fears before you launch yeah. a brand because you kind of put your lifeblood into yeah. it and my lifeblood is in this brand and then you're waiting to see what people think so you spend so long making formulas and then you're like and, and so long things out the right formula and then so long once you've got the formula getting the right colors so you want people to like it and you want people to get what you get about it yeah. and and also there's this other thing that you develop the formulas about two years before you're actually launching then you're developing the colors so every time somebody brought out a cream based product I'd go and rush to buy it <laughs> and say it better not be as good as mine yeah you know that was that kind of fear and like Saint Laurent brought out some mattifier and I was like oh no and it was shit and I felt great but no it was like every time it's like I cannot bear that somebody brings something out which would be better than my one because I need mine to be the best so well, that's, that's a good been, place to start yeah, that's a good place to start wait so we stop recording wait Lou Lou you guys can just carry on as well yeah, carry on. we like the behind the scenes of stuff okay, we like the behind the scenes. So just Lou. press record again see if we're okay I think we might have overheated the camera because we were talking for hours really yeah it's fine the keep going like overheating well, Are we going still? Yeah, we're going, we're, going. we're good. Red. She knows the stuff really well. So, and then, when, so then when we launched, I um, wanted to get reviews up. And I kind of kept saying to the guys, get up reviews, because I really want people to write reviews, because, you know, I want to see what they think. Mm -hmm. And we kept getting, we had a customer desk that we set up, which people could call or email. So when they called, whoever was near the, the, the laptop, picks up the call yeah, so yeah. I can pick up the call oh my or, God, I love and, it. and if we're not in it's, it's like Ellen you know it's you on the phone <laughs> hello darling what do you mean it broke what did you do to it darling <laughs> but I do the message as well so I say I go hi you've reached Trini London nobody's here right now and we might be on the loo or asleep because it's a different time zone but please leave a message <laughs> so it's kind of like we, we had to have every element of the brand like that but they um did then I said, look, reviews go up, so please leave reviews. So the reviews have been like, we've had Amazing. about 500 reviews and we've had 498 that have five star. Wow. And it's been, that's been great and people Aww. liking the brand and also match to me working because that's a big fear. And for yeah, some people, course. they don't get their skin right, so they email us and they say, look, I wasn't sure and this is what I chose and what do you think? And we do get in touch with them, but if we have hundreds of those a day, it's overwhelming because we've got two people on customer service. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. really backlocked to like a thousand people we had to get back to and now we got it down to like 50 a day. Cool. So it's managing expectations people because some people also when you talk about something for a long time and you know this mm. they over expect from you so you, yeah. you know you don't want to let anyone down yeah. and you want to deliver something that they all go that's exactly what I want it to be and more yeah so that's your biggest and also challenge. the best part is that because you've had such a long time in the public domain like when I when I did the cleanser I was like oh god I know there's gonna be people who don't like this and 
and I can only make that for here and maybe there'll be something else down the line but you, it's taking the feedback so for example when we did I did the bad packaging there were a yeah. few people who said well I don't like the packaging of your cleanser so I spoke about it yeah. and said actually we're addressing certain things and I think the key difference between what you're doing and what someone like Glossy are doing but not to the same degree because Emily's not the face behind the brand whereas yeah. you very much are it's yeah. called Trini London yeah. the key difference between this and why this is the way we will be shopping in the future is the relationship you have down the camera lens yeah which negates any need for someone to walk into a store and feel like they're not talking, they're talking to someone who doesn't understand them, doesn't know them. Yeah. People feel they trust you. And in turn, you're, you know, there are people who, who go online and have an online sort of persona who don't have the respect for the people watching them back. Which is like which, we both know. Which is just important. a death yeah. knell. So what I think we absolutely do, and I also think it's all because we're a bit older. I think just a bit older. A little, a little bit older. Just a bit I mean, older. Ageless and yet <laughs> canny, canny wily. But but I think it's the fact that we can relate. I don't know if this is true, but I think you can relate when you're slightly older to many different people. Mm. When you're younger, you can only relate to within your peer group. Yeah. So we've got a broader audience reach, yeah. and we can kind of have certain people who will see us as their agony aunt. Yeah. and really respect and trust our opinion on different things, especially you in skincare. Like you know. I know many 20 year olds who kind of want to go straight to you to know how to deal with their spots. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of, there's a path, a well trodden path. And then women of our own age, we can have 10 subject matters and they'll all go, yes, thank God this is being taught to Yeah, about. I mean, the first time I remember the very first videos I did, and I used to film in my bedroom, and I'll put a link to it below, but at the very end of the video, I scream at the kids because they've gone out into the back garden and the back bedroom window reached out into the back garden and they, Daniel had put his head out the back door and he was going, Dad! Dad! And I was literally trying to film and be all professional. And then you see me turn like this, look at, and I go, can you shut up? <laughs> like a banshee. And I said, I think I'm going to leave that in. And Jim was like, and then Daniel went, oh, sorry, Mum, I didn't know you were filming. You know, again, that's not how he talks, just to differentiate that it wasn't me. Um, and Jim said, oh, you don't know if you should leave that in, love. People might think, you know, you're screaming at the kids. And I'm like, yeah, but I think They'll my viewers it. scream at their kids. Yeah. And I put yeah. it up. And I, and I left the outtakes, and I can't remember if I put the outtakes at the beginning or the end, yeah. but all the comments were about, oh my God, that's how I scream at my kids yeah. too. And I was like, yeah. I'm not yeah. alone. Yeah. So I think that's the key difference. And also, you know, the fact that you've innovated to have something the way you can go online and say, this is my skin color, this is my eye color, this is my hair color, this is my hair color when I've had tan, you know, anything yeah. like that. So you can kind of narrow it down as much as you can so that there's minimal room or for mistakes error. or just yeah. error and it's just I just think it's an amazing thing Dolly, thank I'm you. so proud of oh, you I'm not that you. I have anything to Can do I? with it I hate it when okay. people say I'm so proud of you because it's not like I'm your mother but I'm very happy for you and I embrace okay. everything you have created for yourself and can I say this is like a thing I have to say but I just have to say it to you because I I could say it to you off camera but I'll just say it to you because I didn't really know anyone in the beauty business yeah and you're one of the first people I met in the beauty business and it was such a relief to meet somebody who I just really loved as a woman immediately. I did immediately love you as a woman. I just did. And there's many people, I, women I meet, and I think, okay, I won't see them tomorrow and I won't miss it. But I like, when you send me a text, I'm excited to read your text. No, I just, no. I just do feel, I feel like we kind of had, we had a moment at some stage, and I'm glad we had this moment. Which leads me on to this, all right, and I just want to lay it out there, that um, Caroline and I were at an award ceremony the other week, and we're chatting away, and, um, and I was, sitting next to a woman from Amazon mm. and just saying to her, you know, what the shit is going on at Amazon <laughs> with your beauty? Because it's like, I'll buy everything from everything Amazon, Amazon from Amazon premium beauty. Premium beauty yeah. Okay, it's just, it's, a no, it's just like, nothing is bringing me there. Mm -mm. So then, um, she, and she was this really cool woman who'd just come on board on Amazon, being, sitting next and to me. And they sat her next to Trini, oh and, my God. Um, she was saying, oh yeah, and she came from kind of banking and stuff. And I just said, I really think you need to like, Get a fire under there, you know. You might yeah. be the biggest giant. Jeff Bezos might be. Is it Jeff Bezos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, he might just have put a hundred billion a year to some Blue Origin thing, and he's mm. a mastermind, and he hasn't yet been done for anything. So, you know, it's like <laughs> he's so avoided all, all his tax appropriately. So, so um, then Caroline and I and Nadine were in the room, and I just said, oh, "I'm next to Amazon. I'll go and chat with them. What would you think about doing something?" And um, then I went back to her and I went, "You know, if you're really lucky." Do something. I could sort something else. Anyone anyway, seen her? Oh my in a couple God. Of weeks. But I just thought to myself, whether it's Amazon or wherever else, because I'm also seeing a TV production company tomorrow morning, and I just thought, there is no fun beauty show. And a part of us might think we don't need to do it because we have our audience here. Yeah. Why do we even need to go to telly? Why do we even need to do something with Amazon? But 
I think the joy of having a show which is devoted to the vanity of women in the best possible way. Yeah, of course. Cool. Self-care um, as well. Self-care. 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 Yeah. And the three of us who have the same opinion yet have different expertise bits. I kind of loved the banter of that. It was like a sort of, nothing like loose swimming. Did you see the but... best was, we put a, I put a picture up on my Instagram of me, Trini and Nadine. Yeah. And someone put underneath the Holy Trinity. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thank you for having oh, me on, darling. Oh my God, my Thank pleasure. You. So nice to be in your domain. This is my domain, yeah. It's very nice. Good it's lighting. very bright. I never let us shine. Branded by, by the light. Manfred Mann again. Oh, then some royalties after this. Right. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I said it would be really quick. I'm probably on half an hour by now. Um, I will link everything that belongs to Trini and all her fabulous information below. And what are we doing next? I don't know if we've got anything else planned. Have we? It's well, Christmas. I think it's Chilling. Christmas. Chilling. Chilling. But I think, are you around in the new year? Yeah. Okay. So I think we need some kind of new year. New year resolution is so blarish, but we yeah. need that kind of, how are we going to attack January? So is January going to be a dry January for clothing? Usually I do that with my Instagram bars. I say, we're not going to buy for a month. So how are we going to revamp our oh, wardrobe? Zara going to have a heart attack know, when you say that, mate. Right? But you know what? Zara, everyone who works at Zara is just like, shit, Trini's not coming in in January. We're going to lose all our but money. But I just say the clothes are shit in January? That's the yeah. thing. So it's, and it's like all ex, and it's all ex ex old sale, sale. but you know, sale. don't but don't forget what they also do in January is bring out everything that didn't sell in the summer sale. Yeah, that's so true. Everything yeah. comes out, and you want and you think, oh god, I, I'm sure I didn't want to buy that six months ago. And why would you want to buy it now? And it's like if you couldn't afford it full price, don't buy it in the sale. That's my feeling. Oh. Just a strict hard fast rule. Maybe we'll do Trini's five shopping rules for the January. Not if you couldn't afford it, but if you didn't crave it enough. Yeah, if you didn't crave it enough. Because it could be that it becomes a price you can, oh, you yeah, can afford. Exactly, yeah. So but I think that's but I think what we could do is we could do like beauty clear out, wardrobe clear out, skincare clear out, yep. January thing, and we like every other day just attack it. Yeah? I'm already tired. Right. My name's Caroline and I will be ODing on caffeine in January working with Trini. Uh, a pleasure. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Thank you, lovely. See you, ladies. Bye, bye. Trini's people. Bye, 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 bye. bye.